What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today is a week 66 update of my keto transformation journey. You're watching Keto Rewind and I'm Jess. So a few things I want to talk about before I get started. First things, if you are new here and you want to see videos about my experience losing over 122 pounds with a ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting and my tips and tricks and experiences with what works and what didn't work, hit that subscribe button down below. And with that being said, 60,000 subscribers! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was speechless. Like when I was approaching 50,000, I was speechless back then. Now at 60,000, I don't have words. I still don't have words. I am amazed that so many people have followed me along in my own journey, cheered me on, left me amazing comments, and even the dislikes that kind of just pushed me to push past and work harder to prove them wrong. So. I could not be happier and more thankful for the community here on the Keto Rewind uh, YouTube channel. And I would like to say a huge thank you to Perfect Keto for sponsoring this video. Um, sponsors like Perfect Keto help make me possible or make me more able to create as many videos for you uh, as I can and also bring you a good deal as well. Um, and because you guys are, are part of my community, I have a VIP deal for you today. This promo doesn't actually start till tomorrow, but because you guys are with me, it starts today. And it's a Keto Snack Box promo. These are already discounted. You get an extra 25% off plus free shipping. And the variations of the Keto Snack Box are a chocolate chip box, a cake batter box, or a brownie batter box. Um, and so basically you're getting a box of cookies, a box of protein bars, and a two pack of nut butter. So that's a great keto snack box. I love their nut butters. I put the nut butters on mug cakes just for something extra. Sometimes I even take a spoon, squirt some of the nut butter on a spoon and have the nut butter that way. I also swear by their cookies and their protein bars. I eat those regularly a couple times a week. So anyways, let's get into today's video. So for those of you that are new to my channel, um, February 11th, 2019, I decided I was tired of the path that I was on and something had to give. I had to give it one more chance. I had tried and failed every diet, every lifestyle for the past 17, or at this, at this point, 16, 17 years. Them speaking of my when I started my journey. And I just wanted to put the message out there that even though you might fail, you have to just get back up again and try again. Because if I didn't get back up again, I wouldn't be standing before you today, 122 pounds smaller, because I gave it one last shot. I gave it one more go, and I didn't accept failure as an option. So that brings so much joy and so much change to my life from obviously my health has Im improved amazing like amazing transformation in my own health my attitude my my lust for life my will to live my determination to feel good like there's so much stuff that changed on the outside and the inside. It was not just about a number on the scale. When I sought out to lose all this weight, I originally thought weight was all I was gonna be concerned about. I wanted to weigh 169 pounds and I wanted to be a size medium or large. That's what my, my goals were. Now, <laughs> with all I know now, that's like just the itty bitty 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 part of the beauty of this process. And the funny thing is, I'm way more than that now, and I'm already that size, you know? So it's like, that has this much to do with the journey. The journey is so much more, and the journey is worth every minute. So if I can say a few things about the experience losing over 100 pounds in general, 122 to be exact, if I can speak on that, it's worth every sacrifice. Um, so my week 66 update is going to be short and sweet. Um, my parents are leaving this week to head back to their home in New Hampshire. So we're still here in Texas um, and 
they're our, you know, our only family that's been here. We've been very blessed to have them. We normally don't have them this many, but I, I held them hostage while the northeast of the country <laughs> was having an epidemic there. So I, they were safe here in Texas. We all self-quarantined together, and it's been amazing to have, you know, obviously it's nice to have your parents around, it's nice to have family around, and to have the help with the kiddos. And my kiddos have just enjoyed their extra time with their, their nonny and pop. So anyway, so they leave this week, so um, my mom's technologically challenged, but I did teach her some ideas how to get um, some content so I can still share videos and you know obviously they're they're both in my Facebook group so, so if you're not already a member join here there's real simple rules <laughs> don't be rude don't be disrespectful and stay in your own lane um, and the other thing is no self promotion it's my jam take your agenda elsewhere <laughs> So feel free to join um, with those really simple rules and you can still keep in touch with my parents there. Um, and then, but the good thing is my husband's going to start filling in their place and he's going to start hopping in on some of my videos in the near future. So you can hear another perspective, another person that's lost over 100 pounds, you know, the whole shebang. So anyways, so stay tuned for more of that. So as for week 66, I want to start off because I have two really important non-scale victories. Um, so the first one is, I finally weigh less than Kyle, my husband. I have weighed more than him f since, for at least seven to eight years, which shouldn't be that big of a deal, but I, I'd never felt proud. <laughs> Because he's taller than me too and I weighed more than him so I was never a fan of that I know it's not the end-all be-all you know, but it did it, I, I'll be silly to say I, it didn't bother me. It did bother me So I've been hunting him on the scale and I finally weigh less than Kyle <laughs> so um, but anyways The second thing is we have been walking for the last month every day after dinner rain or shine and in the last month Kyle and I have walked 96 miles. We average about five to six miles a night with a few random days where we didn't have the time to do the five or six. And that has been something that I wasn't even, I don't like to go for walks before, but I really need that right now. With the current situation of the world, with gyms being closed, at least here, um, it's been quite hard to get a workout in, you know, and I'm not inspired to do in home workouts. I try to do them, but I'm not inspired. So I've been walking a lot and my husband and I, we go, we spend like an hour, hour and a half, depending how far we go and we talk and we just disconnect and it's been awesome. So I, for, for just mental clarity, the walking has been amazing. And then also, I've never walked 96 miles in a month before. Never. <laughs> so, um, but in the past week, we uh, we started increasing how much we were walking because we liked it so much. So in the past week alone, of that 96 miles, 29 of them were from the past seven days. So, um, yeah, we walk every day, rain or shine, and it's awesome. So it's been such a good way to de-stress. The only sad part is when my parents leave this week, we no longer have babysitters. So we have to now go back to walking individually. So I will keep my walking up. I'm just going to have to go because he's working from home. So obviously he can watch the kids while I go get a quick hour workout, walk, stroll, um, and vice versa. So um, we were fortunate to have somebody to watch our kids while we could get some me time in. So, but that doesn't give us an excuse to just stop walking. We just need to prioritize what's important and that means putting our health still first and finding a way to still get that in. So as for the weight loss gain, whatever this week, I, I have struggled this week and it's not with the intermittent fasting or the alternate day fasting. I struggle with some concepts. Am I eating enough? Am I eating too little? Because I'm not somebody that knows really, I'm not an expert. So I see myself, you know, looking at my watch, you know, I'm like, dang, I have 15,000 steps to get in, you know, and I'm getting like 17,000 steps. And like, I don't know how, what to eat because I'm doing the alternate day fasting. I'm walking every day. I'm walking on a fasted walk at workout. So I'm getting those five miles in while I'm not eating too. So I'm like, I'm a little, I'm a little scatterbrained this week. So Monday through Friday, I snuck a peek on Friday of the scale. I had no change. So not only had I walked like 29 miles this week, 
but I also didn't lose any weight. So that was like, what's going on? Did I slow my BMR down? Um, am I not eating enough? Did somehow on my eat days they ate too much? So this week, I think the only way I can responsibly answer that question is to track my macros all week. Um, so, and that should show up on the scale. If I am still not losing, but I'm sure my macros are right, that means I probably slowed my, I'm, I'm doing too much activity and my body is in a more of a starvation mode than a fat burning mode. So my goal is to, at the end of the week, if I've tracked my calories, I've hit the macros where I'm supposed to be at, if I'm not down, it's because I'm eating too little. So I will be bumping up the calories. So, and then if I get to the end of the week and I have not lost, then I'm eating too much. So, because everybody's BMR is different. Everybody's just different. So the only way to truly answer that question is I've got to track my macros all week. And I've been so, I've had, I feel like I've had so much freedom because I haven't been tracking my macros in the past month because I've been doing the alternate day fasting. I, you know, you, when you don't eat three of the days of the week, three to four days of the week, you should be in a, in a deficit, a calorie deficit, right? Or caloric deficit. So it's like, mm, I don't know. So the only way to truly answer the question is to track. So that's my goal this week. I have not, I didn't lose anything this week. So then with that being said, that was Friday. Saturday and Sunday, we had, I had a date night with Kyle. We haven't had a date night in forever. Texas is opening back up. We've been open for like two weeks. Certain things, social distancing, all the new guidelines and all that. So we did a date, date night at a restaurant that has a patio. So I had a burger and I had a salad and just ate keto. So, and then yesterday we went out again and the only difference is I had a burger again, but I had french fries this time. So, and then we went out for ice cream. So, what that did to the scale, I don't know, but it could also explain the no loss this week, but I was already at a no loss as of Friday before any of the date night and eating out two days in a row happened. So, but I'm still Monday morning, still not down, still the same, even eating out and having french fries. So, it's like, I don't even know what to think. So, <laughs> and I wish I had somebody I could ask, because like I research and research and research all, I just research all the time all this stuff to try and get answers to strategies and I don't have anybody to look up to that's morbidly obese, that's lost weight this way and it's, you know, so I'm figuring it out. I have lots of great ideas for this channel when I hit my goal weight, when I can stop focusing so much on me and start giving back and helping my community for free by giving legit meal plans, shopping lists, recipes, everything more, more detailed. But I can't give any of that advice until I know it for sure myself. So this, plus that makes my content more valuable to you when I get to my goal weight and I've tried and failed all these ways and I can give you the like straightforward answer. So that's coming up and I'm excited that I can give back to this community for free just for watching my videos. So let me work out all those kinks and I promise to you I'm dedicating the rest of the next chapter of my life to helping each and one of you achieve the success that I've had. And a lot of people ask, what's my goal weight? My goal weight as of a DEXA scan, I'm five feet eight, my DEXA scan, which measures a 3D composition of your body, your lean muscle mass, your bones, and your fat. And that gave me, at my current stats, 175, which yes, it is higher than what the BMI chart states, but the BMI chart states a, a one-size-fits-all approach. We're not all built the same. I have always had a higher muscle mass. Um, I've always weighed more than somebody my exact height. I just have. You know, but to fine-tune what your body should have, get a DEXA scan. And when I get to my goal weight, I'm going to redo another DEXA scan and share those results and show you <laughs> um, whether I need to do, maybe I, maybe I lost muscle during this quarantine. I'm not going to the gym every day, so I could have lost muscle mass, which would change the goal weight, or if I've maintained and just lost fat, and I'm good to go. So stay tuned for those updates. I am 12 pounds away from my goal weight, because I'm currently 187, or I'm still 187, but um, I will say, visually speaking, I look smaller. When I look in the mirror, when I look this way in the mirror, 
and I look and I, I see myself, I can see collarbones, I can see defined shoulders, I can see cheekbones, jawlines, abs. I don't know if I want to call my abs abs, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't do sit-ups or anything. I do push-ups. That's what I do. Um, I don't know what's going on in my stomach, but I have definition or it looks trim. Maybe that's the best word. I do um, push-ups and planks. Um, that's how I've got my stomach to look like this. Um, and prior to that, I did lots of bench pressing and stuff at the gym. So, um, but I see my legs, I just see visually in the mirror, me getting smaller, even though I didn't lose any weight this week. However, my head, when I'm looking down, I see I'm humongous still. And it's this, this I'm caught up between this body, I don't know what it is, but I look down and I see humongous, I gotta drop 50 more. But I'm like, well, I'm only supposed to lose 12 more to have like a 24% body fat or 22% body fat. And I only 12 pounds away from that. So I look down and I'm like, I'm all confused. So my eyes are, my head is not caught up with what's really going on. I know everybody comments and they say, I look fabulous. I look great. In a picture, I, that's that. Yeah, I agree. I look great. I look like I'm 12 pounds from my goal weight, you know? So it's just. I don't even know, so, but I thought I'd just throw that tidbit in real quick. <laughs> Not that anybody would find that interesting, but maybe if you feel that way or you are, you have that like mismatch in your, between your eyes and your head, <laughs> comment below, but I am struggling with that right now for some reason, so, but at the end of the day, I still feel fabulous, I feel wonderful, and I, I am, I know I'm going to get to my goal, so, I hope you enjoyed this video, it was kind of weird, I know. But thank you if you've made it this far. I appreciate your support. I it just, I'm so fortunate to have so many people cheering me on. And I also want to say everybody that comments how much they've lost, how much they have been, how long they've been doing it, their own tips and tricks. I appreciate each and every one of those comments. I do read them. And I am so proud of you. And to be honest, I am like, I'm, I'm rooting for you as much as you're reading, rooting for me. So let's finish this together. <laughs> Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at the next one. I'm Jess. You're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye.